What's up, YouTube? Yo, back at it again, man. Yes, sir. Here with your boy Gilly I'm Marciano, and you here with React Today, we got something new for y'all, man. We got this top 10 countdown, bro. This is something else I found. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna bring y'all something new since y'all not gonna tell us nothing. Since y'all ain't gonna tell us what y'all wanna see. Thanks. I'm just gonna bring y'all something new, man. But if you sat through all that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, mm -hmm. and we'll really, really appreciate it. But we ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. The top 10 video we got for y'all today is 10 most dangerous beaches in the world. Uh, if the picture's up there, bro, this picture look crazy. <laughs> this, the picture ain't no damn beach. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> ain't no beach. But that water do look nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And then death. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna hop right into it, man. And we hope y'all enjoy it. Everyone likes to relax on a beach, but these beaches are everything but relaxing. From beaches with terrifying animals on land and in the sea, to beaches where you have a nearly 100% chance of having your things stolen, and even beaches where planes will fly right over your head and may well take you out. Fish Hoke, South Africa South Africa is known as a pretty dangerous country in many ways, but you'd think that you'd be pretty safe by the beach, right? Well no, this beach looks pretty nice on the surface, but one thing you'll realize is the lack of people on the sand, and even less people in the sea. That's because Fish Hoke is one of the most shark infested waters in the world. The waters are home to hundreds of great white shark. This is a carnivorous shark with a particular taste for humans. Also because South Africa is so hot, this does not help the sharks at all. The high temperatures actually irritate the sharks and make them more likely to bite humans. Since the 60s, there have been many underwater nets set up on the beach. This is to try and contain the sharks and make sure they can't get too near to the people swimming. But sometimes the sharks bite through the nets and they don't cover the entire beach, meaning the sharks sometimes get through. In 2010 alone, there were more than 21 people bitten by sharks. Locals totally avoid this beach, and it's also advised that tourists don't go in the water further than their knees, otherwise they may well lose parts of their body. Copacabana Beach, Brazil Brazil is yet another country which is known for its amazing beaches but high crime rates. You may think that the beach would be a place to escape from this, but really it's the exact opposite. Because of all of the tourists here, this is a prime place for criminals. If you step foot on this beach, you have a pretty good chance of being robbed. Sometimes, <laughs> tourists are even injured by the criminals on the beach. Damn. In 2015, police even banned local youths from going onto the beach. Damn. That's because they believed that Rio de Janeiro's younger population was stealing from tourists. Locals advise tourists Robbing not to bring their beach. valuables onto the beach. This includes phones, wallets, passports, and cameras. Sometimes robbers even rip necklaces off people's necks while they're wearing them. Another trick they use is to start a fake brawl with one another. Beachgoers will then stand up and walk away or towards the action to see what's going on. But when doing this, they'll leave their valuables behind for the people to come and steal. So keep a close eye on your belongings if you go to this beach. Fraser Island, Australia. Fraser Island is the largest sandy island in the world. It's visited by only the most adventurous tourists. And that's because it's known for its wildlife, which can be pretty dangerous. Unlike on many beaches, the danger is not necessarily in the water. The island is home to many land animals, which sometimes attack and take out tourists. There are wild dingoes on the island, which sometimes disturb tourists on the beach. These dingoes sometimes bite, scratch, and even take people's lives. If you go here, make sure to avoid these animals. Don't let your children go anywhere near them. Never feed them and lock up all of your food, rubbish, and ice boxes. Scarily, these animals often operate in packs and sometimes gang up on tourists. The island is also home to giant pythons. This means you could be bitten or squashed by a snake if you go onto this island. 
Funnel web spiders also live on the beach. These funnel web spider bites have been responsible for nearly 13 people passing on. And they can also take out animals, such as dogs, so don't bring your pet to this beach. Also, if you do get injured, don't count on being rescued. There aren't many paved roads on the island. This means it takes paramedics a long time to get to the beach. But make no mistake, the water is as dangerous as the land on this beach. There are jellyfish, which are known to take humans' lives. There are also sharks, which sometimes bite beach goers. And the sea has rough conditions and rip currents. This means you could well be pulled under the sea if you're not a very strong swimmer. Maho Beach, St. Martin. St. Martin is a beautiful island in the Caribbean. It has many amazing beaches, but its most dangerous is Maho Beach. This is a beach right next to St. Martin's only airport. And on the beach, airplanes fly right over your head. This makes it a hot spot for people to go to, simply because it's so weird. How often do you see a gigantic jumbo jet right over your head? The planes get so close to the beach that people are sometimes knocked over. The airport's runway is very short because the island's small. So that's why airplanes go right over the beachgoers' heads. The government warns tourists not to go to this place when there's planes. But of course, people ignore this as they want to see the planes up close. There are many warning signs, but this simply made the place even more interesting and alluring to tourists. These warnings and signs aren't all for show. In 2017, a New Zealand woman was watching a jet fly right over her head. But that's when its engine blasted and she went flying across the beach. Sadly, she fell on her head and never recovered. The planes on this beach are an amazing sight to see, but maybe from a distance, not up close. Skeleton Coast, Namibia The Skeleton Coast is one of the most extreme places on the planet. The reason for its name is because of all of these skeletons you'll find on this beach. There are skeletons of living things, for example whales, and also skeletons of old boats and shipwrecks too. Sadly, there are even human skeletons on this beach. The coastline is very rocky, and there are also dangerously big waves and a thick fog. These harsh conditions have caused many to pass away on this beach. Over 1,000 ships have gone missing and then were shipwrecked on this coast. Mm -hmm. The locals call Skeleton Coast the land God made in anger. There is no drinkable water anywhere near this beach. And the heat is absolutely scorching. This means many who are shipwrecked succumb to dehydration. The Skeleton Coast is also one of the most isolated places in the world. This means if you do run into trouble on this beach, then no Coast Guard will come and help you. <laughs> Chao Pati Beach, India Chao Pati Beach is located on the Arabian Sea. Naturally, the beach is fairly safe, but it's the humans that go to the beach which make it dangerous. Because of the massive population that go here, they've destroyed the beach with trash and waste. Many Mumbai festivals and events are held on Chao Pati Beach. All of these thousands of people leave a lot of trash and this is never picked up. This means that this is one of the most polluted beaches in the world. Ooh. Some describe it as landfill with water next to it rather than a beach. And there's even been reports of human waste in the sea. This is very dangerous as you can get ill and infections from going anywhere near the water. There's also pollution on the beach which causes toxic fumes which can be very dangerous for your health. If you breathe in this polluted air too much, this could cause problems for your lungs and heart. Queensland and the Tiwi Islands, Australia. Australia is known for its dangerous wildlife. And nothing is a better example of this than the Queensland and Tiwi Islands beaches. Many tourists who go here don't realize that it's infested with box jellyfish. These creatures' stings are equipped with one of the most powerful poisons in the world. The stinging cells of these creatures can cause severe burns. And if you're stung by one, you may pass away within a few minutes. They blend into the waves, making them very hard to notice, which adds to the danger. North Sentinel Island The beach surrounding this island is off limits. That's because the North Sentinelese tribe live here. The island is technically territory owned by India, but the Indian government forbid any Indians from going onto this island. They don't want to spread any diseases and wipe out this tribe. Also, the tribe barrage anyone who comes anywhere near the island with arrows. Last year, two fishermen got way too close to the island. They ended up being shot by arrows and never made it back. 
Also two years ago, a missionary went to the island on a boat. He was trying to convert the island's people to God, but he ended up being taken out by their arrows. When a rescue helicopter came to try and retrieve his body, this was also fired at with arrows. So not only is this beach a prohibited place, but also the residents won't let you come anywhere near. New Smyrna Beach, Florida. This is one of the most dangerous beaches in the USA and the world. The reason why is because it's one of the biggest shark hotspots on Earth. So far, over 240 people have been injured by sharks on this beach. And sadly, many people did not make it out alive. One day in September of 2016, three people were injured by sharks within three hours. Officials advise you not to go into the water deeper than your knees. But many surfers do, and sometimes they pay the price. In 2017, Melanie Lawson was paddling on the beach. That was when she was knocked over and bitten on the leg by a shark. So if you're in the USA, it's probably best to avoid this beach. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment below which was the scariest speech in this video. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s. Hey, he got some of that. Oh, shit. That's a crazy thing, man. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's a crazy thing, y'all. Arrows and a helicopter. That's yeah. funny as fuck, bro. Them people, them people must must know that the world's kind of fucked up. So they're like, all right, like we got our own shit going on. Don't come over here. Right? Like, how did they know that? Or like, somebody else had to come there before, and dude probably was tripping. That's why he's like, all right, don't bring nobody. Got no Wi-Fi over there. So yeah, somebody came over there tripping, just like that religious dude. They said it was a religious dude that tried to pull up on them, tried to talk to them. Hey, do you know about God? He said, got your home with me. <laughs> he said, the fuck? Hey. Who is you, crack? <laughs> So he didn't want to listen. He didn't want to hear it. Fuck what that by bringing your ass arrow. <laughs> you ever put out an arrow and he go shit? Like oh, woo, woo, that motherfucker. Bro. Cut. A fucking island full of hawk eyes, bro. Like how raw do they gotta be? Yes, arrows is tough, strong, everything. Yeah. It's pinging motherfucking helicopters. I can understand a boat or something. <laughs> But the helicopter just sound extraordinary for some reason. I like, who is the LeBron of arrowing over there? Like, that was that nigga that shot that. Man! <laughs> the LeBron of arrows? He rolls to that of everything, but he the best at shooting arrows? He's the best at shooting arrows, bro. <laughs> Pinging that bitch. Ping, 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 ping. ping. Oh, y'all shooting arrows? That's funny. They ain't got no funny. pistols, no nothing. That's crazy. Oh, oh man, man. that gotta be bamboo wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even stressing about the wood. What type? What? What are you? Is that rocks on the end of your? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, what, what did you tie to the end of that? That it, when it hits a helicopter, you know it's an arrow. That's funny, bro. I, don't I know. can throw a rock at a helicopter, and it probably won't even. Right. Like, you won't even hear. You won't even know. But if I shoot that bitch with this arrow, you gonna fucking know. That shit gonna... Ping! 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 It's gonna sound like bullets. <laughs> you shoot an arrow as fast as a bullet? Oh, yeah. That's it. He the LeBron of arrows. He is the LeBron of arrows. He shoot that bitch like a bullet. Oh, shit, bro. <laughs> I'll fuck with that. I want that. That vibranium. That shit work. Ping! 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 <laughs> it's throwing, it's throwing the helicopter off. He's like, oh, yeah, he <laughs> go, go. <laughs> y'all didn't bring no guns. Did y'all didn't think they was gonna have guns? <laughs> you didn't bring no guns. We in a fucking helicopter. <laughs> Imagine that dude. Imagine that dude talking oh, shit. Really? We in the fucking helicopter. We in the helicopter, man. <laughs> He just went along. I, I wish we would have brought a gun, bro. Man, relax. Fly right over. Nothing but arrows start hitting your shit. 
dude that told him they should bring a gun, he got hit by an arrow. Like, oh, <laughs> I thought we should never did this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's so mad. I know you know how mad you be. I told you we need guns. You and that. <laughs> That's cool, me. Protest on every flight oh, now. A gun. Hell yeah, bro. That is crazy. No, but don't some crazy ass beaches though. That one, that one is crazy because obviously the island, but that is fucking amazing. But the other one with the trash, that's scary that too. That is very fucking disgusting. That is scary too because I like how much, how long can they do that before you know start going right. in the other water? That's what I'm like. That's scary too. So I don't. That, I think yeah. I think that's everybody's problem. Right. <laughs> Why don't they don't see that? That's a problem. Right. That ain't that shit. What? <laughs> it's Shit, what you talking about? No, that's the damn. That is crazy. And then pollution, global warming, shit, all that shit ain't real. But then you show something like that, nigga. Right, like that's crazy. That's actually that's wild, bro. Then uh, the, the the other one with the people getting robbed, I don't seem that bad. I mean, right, that's in sixty third for that. Yeah, they right, get robbed the every day. You know what I mean? If you getting tricked by fake fights, then, right. then you you <laughs> you deserve it. My yeah, friend. Uh, well, you a white tourist? We know how to get these whites. That's what, <laughs> that's what that plan was: was get these whites. That's, that's who's dangerous. That that be dangerous. That shit crazy though. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but uh appreciate y'all sitting through all this man and if y'all <laughs> had a good time go ahead and hit that like and subscribe yes, sir. go ahead and hit that like and subscribe we really, really Bro, appreciate you know it you don't have a buff you gotta be to shoot an arrow you you gotta be LeBron James <laughs> you have to be the best athlete ever you have to be the best athlete period <laughs> To shoot an arrow with a Imagine this nigga don't do nothing else on the island. He just waits till this arrow shooting time and he walk out the room, folks. They call him when they need arrow shit. Let him out. It's a, it's a helicopter! <laughs> call, call Damon. Damon, Damon! Damon, come on! Damon. It's a helicopter! He said, I got it. <laughs> if he say I got it, he was sitting down. He stand up, say I got it. That means he do this. That's the bazooka, that's the bazooka of arrows. He said, he said I got it. He finna knock that bitch down. That means he been shooting something else that was flying. So that oh, means he good. Shit, he that nigga fucking good, good, bro. That nigga is fucking good, man. <laughs> oh, bro. But <laughs> until next time, we see y'all later. Peace.